it seems that there's been an abolishing of the professional reports. And if I were sitting in the audience and not knowing anything, or it took the time to come to a meeting, I'd be upset that I didn't hear what our professionals had to say. And I respect them, but we're paying them to tell us what they've done. And I think they're listening to the right to know the results. So I, I just want to state my objection that these professional reports are not discussed as they have been in the past. You still get them, though, right? Uh, yeah, I get them, but I have, I have questions on them. And I'm sure other people would if they knew what was going on. Uh, I, I just think that we should get more from our professionals who are sitting here and being paid to be here. They don't get to talk, so why do we want to happen here? Okay, good point. Now, having said that, um, I, I'd like to bring up a couple of things um, on that uh, issue. Um, Damage is for you. I'm not picking you up particularly, but I do have a note on it. Winter Woods, you, you um, have in your report that there's other work to be done in the spring. So what I'd like to know is how much has been spent of the hundred, I think it was hundred seven thousand that we got from the insurance company. How much of that was spent, if you know, or how much is left of it? Okay. And what work needs to be done in the spring? By whom? What's the cost? Was it bid? Or what are we doing here? If you know. So let me, I can answer one question. We, uh, we spent about $59,000 on the banking, and then there's the other work left over with some uh, drainage improvements that uh, we have to put together throughout the day. Okay, does that have to be bid? Is that going to be done by our uh, people? Probably the rest of them. Probably put it out to bid. Uh, put it out to bid? Yeah. Okay. And the paving is done? The paving is done, yes. We just need drainage. We need some drainage. Do you have an estimate of the cost? No, I don't. Uh, should it be within the remainder? It should be, yes. Okay. We'll work within the remainder. Okay, thank you. Um, next thing is, um, do we have any, any estimates of the cost for Coleman Road? Uh, either one of you to do whatever we, what you're going to be bidding on, but I forbid. You said about three About three hundred thousand for the wall. That was already about. Okay, the next thing, I can swear that I saw in one of these four or five uh, uh, agenda items that there was an approval, or was it last month, but I know that I saw it for uh, the installation of the generators here at the township. It was last month. Uh, it was last, last month. month. Okay, then. We haven't discussed or taken any action on what we're going to do for ge about the generators for the three fire departments. We've gone ahead and we've ordered generators for for our building, but what about the three fire departments? Do we have some uh, commitment on that, and can we get cost on that? I think uh, Mr. Gasper started to get it first. Did you, did you get an estimate on your building? Yeah, uh, we actually have two estimates waiting for they were out there and they hadn't sent the quotes back yet. Did anybody else get any estimates on theirs? We didn't know we were supposed to be doing that. We just first I'm hearing about that. It's not as supposed to be. We, we just discussed it. Uh, what we thought maybe if we all went together on uh, on bids we'd get a better price, but whenever we went through the, went through the program with the post star, it doesn't matter. If there's no discount we three of us went together. We had talked about it in house at the fire district meeting, but that was between us. We didn't know that we were supposed to be doing it. Well, it, 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 wasn't it, it wasn't formal. It wasn't formal. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, that was on our bucket list that I just mailed to talk about with you guys next meeting. But what we did, my I applied for an AFG grant for a station generator of twenty five thousand to cover our costs. That's what I spent my time on the grant writing for. I haven't heard yet whether it's that was what twenty five thousand. Yeah, I applied for a twenty five thousand dollar grant for. Did you get pricing on it yet for the cost? I haven't got the formal one. We're in the twenty to twenty-five thousand range for our station. We've got two bids. Do you have to say what the amount is that you? Ballpark. They told us twenty to twenty-five thousand. We're waiting for the formal bids uh, quotes. That would be for material and labor. Yes, complete turnkey system. Okay. Transfer switch. Whether we go diesel, natural gas, that's a couple of the questions. The, the grant you applied for. What is there? Do they give you a time frame on when it's this year? It's this year, so 
Um, and did you do it? I, I don't know. I mean, there's no definite timetable. I mean, that's you want. Is there anyone here from CSA? Ed left. What? Ed was the only one here. He left. Do you know Cecil did anything? No, but our building and Cecil's building is quite a bit larger than Lawrence's building, so I'm sure the demand would be much bigger. And as I understand, uh, Cecil has three meters on their building, so that would be another additional thing that they would have to deal with. They have three different service entrances, so the generator would have to be basically three different things instead of one different service. That was just from what I've heard. Yeah. We're, we're 50, oh, I'm sorry, but we're 50 to 100K estimate. They were going to do the math. Uh, these buildings are significant. We have three phase and everything else in our buildings, which would be a, a significantly bigger generator. But we wanted to work with Paul as the emergency management and management official now and, and come up with a plan to see what the cost would be. The talk was even with these guys of having one, the one that can go from station to station as needed, if even. But uh, we're looking at all options. Okay, well, from you, uh, will you be getting uh, uh, pricing and getting your size? Sure, it wasn't in our budget, so we never even thought about considering looking at a new generator. So we'll do that if this is an option. Yeah, we'd like for, you, for all three fire departments to do it so we know where we are. Yeah, don't let us know about the Coast Guard bid for the generator. So ours are independent of the Coast Guard, and if we have to go buy the generator, contract out the work, that's the third option for us. Okay. Okay. Um, next thing, uh, Don, um, you sent a letter to Larry Spar on the change of the holding place from the church on here on Route 50 to Generations, uh, so that handicapped people would have access and be able to get into vote. Did, have you heard anything from him yet? No, I have not. Well, can I suggest that you send a second letter? I mean, this should be done. We're in March now. We're going to be voting in two and a half months. And there were a number of people that left in frustration because they could not go up or down the steps to vote. We did get their response. They, they were, by the end of the year, they plan on establishing two more precincts in the town. Yeah, but that was not the relative to the population that we have. <laughs> I think that would take text for 2016. Right. Is there any here that's put in place for the following year? Or do I need to do another letter? Is there anything else? I think that's all. Thank you.